Okay, so now that we've gone over an overview of how to use VideoScribe, the different tools and different ways to bring your videos in and draw them and so on, I would like to show you how I created the promo video for this course. So we actually work through a scribe together. You'll be able to see how I organize the workflow of my project, how I make decisions on which images to bring in and how to transition them, and how to really pull a story and video together. Let's begin by clicking the Create New Scribe right up here in the top left. We will click on that, and now we're in a brand new scribe. What I like to do is record my audio separately in a separate software. I use Premiere Pro to record my audio because I use Premiere Pro quite often to edit videos. So I have recorded my script in Premiere Pro. But if you don't have Premiere Pro and you don't have another way of recording audio, then you can also record your audio right into VideoScribe using this microphone icon right here. So let's do that just to show you what that is like. I'm going to click on it and come down here and push record. We're going to be using my built-in mic. It says tap microphone icon when you're ready to record. It is recording now. Hi everyone. My name is Ali Saunders and I want to teach you how to create great whiteboard animations using VideoScribe. I'll teach you everything you need to know so you'll start out as a beginner and be a pro in VideoScribe and be a pro user and be a pro VideoScribe user by the end of this course. So you'll see that's just processing now there. Now one thing I don't like about recording my audio directly in VideoScribe is the fact that if I make a mistake while I'm recording, which you heard I did a few times, I don't have a way of editing that out. So as I start to add elements to my canvas, I can't cut out those mistakes. Note that I wrote a script ahead of time in a Google Doc. It's good to have a script written ahead of time and it's good to practice the script a few times before you actually go to record so that you're less likely to make mistakes from when recording. Also, it's good because sometimes when you write things and you say them out loud, your delivery will come across differently. So get comfortable with your script before you go to record. And that was not my entire script but I wanted to just show you the first few sentences as a sample for using the microphone and record button within VideoScribe. So let's add a few elements to our scribe so we can see how the images work with the voiceover. I'm going to add an image to the canvas icon up here. Let's click on this woman here and we will bring the size of her up, move her to the right of the canvas, bring the draw time down to three and lock the camera position. Let's preview this. Hi everyone. Now see what happened there. The audio that was recorded within VideoScribe started to record the second that I pushed record within the program. So the problem with that is it took me a few seconds to go into the Google Docs before I was ready to actually start speaking, but VideoScribe doesn't know that. So it will start your recorded audio as soon as you push record like so. So let's just continue along adding a few images here to see how it plays out. Gonna click the add images and let's type in whiteboard. Now you'll see here these images with the reddish orange marking on the top right hand corner. These are images that you have to buy. They're not free within the VideoScribe library. Let's click on this whiteboard here and we will move it over. I'm just going to click on this first element to get the canvas back into the first camera position. I'm going to drag out this whiteboard animation right here and place it over here. Let's set that camera to lock and let's preview these two images together now. Hi everyone. My name is Ali Saunders and I want to teach you how to create great whiteboard animations.
The other thing that I don't love about recording audio directly into Videoscribe is that because I am using Videoscribe on my laptop, I'm using the internal microphone on the laptop, which isn't as professional as using an external microphone or a lavalier microphone or a professional piece of audio equipment. So the audio sounds a little bit tinny as well. I recommend that you record your script separately, your audio separately, and you edit it if you have to, if you make any mistakes while you're saying your script, edit those mistakes out and Videoscribe works with MP3s so you can import that MP3 within Videoscribe. Let's do that. So I'm going to now import the pre-recorded MP3 that I recorded in Premiere Pro into this scribe. And when I do so, it will replace the current recording. So I'm gonna click on the microphone again that says add or change the voiceover for this scribe. I will go into the folder icon down here. I have created a video scribe promo folder on my desktop, so I'll click in that. And you can see right here, I have my promo voiceover MP3. So I'll highlight that and open it. And now that has imported my audio file that's been pre-recorded. So let's preview this to see what that sounds like and looks like. Hi everyone. My name is Ali Saunders and I want to teach you how to create great whiteboard animations using Videoscribe. Okay, so I think I need to add in another element while that beginning part of the script is taking place. So let's click on the first element to bring us back to the original camera setting. What I'm going to do is bring the draw time for this whiteboard element down to two. I'm also going to go into the first element property panel, bring the pause down to zero and the transition down to zero, hit the check mark. And I'm going to add another element onto the canvas. 